Hello, Eric here again from Laser Scanning Europe, Laser Scanning TV. This is your channel for point clouds, laser scanners, software and workflows. And today we make software workflows. And our hot topic is because there was some request is how I can align my point cloud in my CAD system and why you should do it. And if you're interested to this topic, then stay tuned. Yeah, let us jump in the topic. The topic is software and um, we got uh, many requests how I align my point cloud in my CAD software like maybe AutoCAD, Revit, I don't know, uh, Archicad, there are many else inventor. And when you have the problem, the problem is you get in point cloud and you like to draw on your CAD system and your point cloud is not, is like moving somewhere and is not orientated to what you usually need to the X and Y coordinate. It's parallel to your coordinate system. That is what we mean alignment of the point cloud and there is some workflow how you can do this but there is also some points what you have to focus on it and why it is maybe not the best way to do it in your CAD software and I like to show you now the um, issues in detail. Let us jump. Um, this is an AutoCAD. We imported now a point cloud like an RCP file in our system. We have it here and now we make a slice because it's easier to make than this alignment. So and now we see our house is not parallel to our user command system or not to our cat system, what we have coordinate system, what we have the X, Y, Z coordinate. And what you have to do now is you have to define like an, how you call them, assistant coordinate lines here. And then you pick a point like here, the outside of your house wall. I hope you can see this. And then you move this zero point on the See was this house point, the corner point on the zero zero point from your coordinate system. And next step, you make you grab these drawings, go to your house line here, and then snap there, and then you move to this Y coordinate. And now finally your system is orientated, you see it here, to this coordinate system of your CAT system. And now what uh, my colleague is doing here, she is drawing some lines like the outside lines of your house, like a cat drawing, you see it, these yellow, this black, not the yellow, the black lines here. Finally, if you play out this point cloud, you have these outside walls here. Okay, that's what we have here. That's our result. Uh, let me stop here. That's as a result. What we do now again, it's we um, at, uh, detach the point cloud and we reload the point cloud. And we do the same step again. That means you're closing your system, you the next day you're starting and you see, okay, my point cloud is not attached here in AutoCAD. And I have to do the same step again. This is time consuming. We do the same step, like making a slice, making coordinate zero point, our axis, helping axis, then grab this house point, move the house point to the zero point, then we make this orientation to the axis, everything is well. And then we start uh, to draw from the second uh, data set now with green lines, the house again, the outside walls. That's what you're doing. And finally, if we are finished with that, she is overlaying this first data set with the second, the black lines with these green lines. And then you see that you have there some deviations between your two data sets because you don't can do this new alignment, the same accurate like the first is, uh, alignment. There will be, based on the workflow, what you're doing, there will be some differences from your workflow that you see here. Okay, and this means if you do it twice, you get some inaccuracy in your drawings. And we have here now a small object. If you have a bigger object, you get bigger problems. That's the first reason why we don't recommend it to do this second point is we use here like point cap for our databases and we make here some elements inside like vertical slices and horizontal slices. These are our horizontal slices. You see that's the vertical slices. We will see it later in our software how we use them. And now we go back to AutoCAD. We have now our drawings from the first point cloud. It was what orientated and now we reload some CAD objects from our original data set from our databases, like the processing uh, software from the scanner. In this case, your point cap. So and then we load these data in and they have original uh, data zero points. You see it. They have this original data set and the other one are moved. What you have to do each time if you imported something, you have to do the same process again, like make this orientation again, like we does it before and then 
only then you can use the both data sets together. And you will have also here the point this will be okay, but this will not be 100% super IQ on what you're doing. As a disadvantage is you have each object was you imported, you have to translate again and again and again, and it will be a little bit in EQ. That's the second point why it makes no sense to do it on this way. Now we have the third points. In our CAT system, we now load some of these vertical slices, what you saw, the slice during vertical in the house. We see it here only as these two crosses here, this and that one, what is now blue, uh, displayed blue. But this data, we know we have, if you like to use it here in this software, we didn't can use it because we don't know where, this is the center point of our axis from the vertical slices. And there's somewhere in the middle of the building, but there is no point what we can pick here. Also we have no option now to place these very accurate on this right position. Now this, you can only do it like a prox, but not super accurate. Also that is the reason that sometimes this movement object is not uh, working for each cat object what you imported, only for where you really can define the center points. Also this is the next third point where it is maybe not the best way to do this like we saw it. And then I will show you if you have everything in one system, you imported this original point cloud, what is in this case not orientated, but we like to show you only to understand it. And then we now load from the same data set some of these point cap data. We have now here our auto images and also these vertical slices, this blue one, this one here and that one. I hope you can see it and you see it really sit in the middle of the building. That's all data sets, point cloud, horizontal, vertical slices, maybe annotation, other cat object, everything what you bring together, stitch together because you have the same database. This means now here it's just moved. You have to move it first in your scanning processing software on right position. And then you take only orientated point over in your cat system and you don't do the alignment in your uh, final CAT system. That's just maybe the better workflow. And I will not bash the CAT system. It's not something the CAT system, it's more the workflow how you do this. And there is this workflow, what we figure out, our door figure out is the much better and easier and usable workflow as the old one, uh, not the old one, but is this moving your point cloud in your CAT system workflow is the other one is much better, especially if you have big project. Yeah, um, I will giving a summary there are mostly three points why it is maybe not the best way to align your point cloud in your CAT system. The first one is if you close your software and you open again and you have to load the same point cloud or the different point clouds from the same project, every time you have to align your point cloud new and this will give you some in, in, uh, inaccurate alignment, very small one, but it will be not 100% accurate like the way like we show you what is typically used. That's the point. The second point is if you in your you getting some cat object of based from your scanner project from your scanner process software and you take this over, you have to orientate it each project like small cat objects, auto images, maybe annotation, uh, maybe um, uh, some uh, points what you're picking there. You have to move all of them, giving the same transformation as extra effort and is also not 100% a cure if you do this one. Also everything what you're taking over, it's not good. And finally, sometimes if you take head object over and you not can define direct this center rotation point, then you are not able to really precise bring all stuff together. And there's three points as a basic reason why it is more useful. Make the orientation in your scanner processing software and then working only with the orientated point cloud in your software, in your CAT software. Only if you not have the option to do this in your software, then it's the only way to do it in your CAT software. I hope I give you some information what was useful for you. If you like it, what I speak about, give me a thumbs up for this video, subscribe to the channel, maybe leave a comment if you have some better ideas, and then bye-bye, Eric, until the next video.